Hello, this is Victor at historymercedes.com. This video is for Sean in Ontario, Canada. And this is a Mercedes Benz 600 V12 engine harness body mounted, it's called. And it's the, uh, the one that goes to a lot of things. It uh, starts in the computer box and ends up all the way by coolant fans. And this is the one, yes, this is a large one and uh, common issues with mass airflow sensor wiring just i had to lay it down on the floor actually because it is so large that uh it's not it doesn't fit on the bench it's like humongous so this is this is how it basically looks generally and let's go over in closer <clears throat> um zoomed in and uh, let's see what i had what i had done and basically just so I can mail it back to a customer. All right, so, Sean, I see, this is what I see. So now the connectors, everything is done. I did the, the wiring right to the pins. And I do see sort of a sort of couple of things here that I don't really per se like, but I don't want to touch it. See, these are new cables here, the, the blue ones. There is this mark in here. I don't know what's this about, but the, the what this wire is cut. I assume mechanics did that to remove the harness. And there is also this loose pin. I don't know where it goes. I don't know the markings here. It looks like PK. That means probably pink connector. Um, the pin on number 33. Now, this is what I want to accent my attention on. This is the actual pin. You have only one. You have only one tab here remaining, right here. This little tab right here. The other tab is broken. So mechanics have to be very careful. Not the double check when they put this back in there. Into the uh, into the connector itself, right? This this is the same one as here. So when mechanics put them in, and if the tabs are broken inside the actual connector, the pin can be pushed down. It will just be like pushed down. There will be no contact here. So this is very care be very careful with this because that is high probability. So when if I were to do this job, if I were to reinstall this, why is it not focusing? I don't understand this. Okay. If I were to do this, I would do it this way. I would look at, carefully, you look inside those pins. Mm, come on, focus. Macro, there. If I, if I go, in, if you look inside, there are a little kind of like tabs right at the edges. It's very hard to show. So basically, you would want to put this connector in where the broken tab is against the broken tab on the connector, that little like little step where this pin actually rests on, that the, this little tab rests on. And you want to put, you want to orient the good tab on the actual pin against that little step on the connector there, inside the connector. Um, it's, that's just basically what it is. It's somebody really yanked it out and they broke it. It's supposed to be tabs on both sides. I want to see like right here is the broken area. Right, right there. Unfortunately, these I don't have. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll find something. I don't like this. That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't like this. I'm, I'm just afraid that they're going to push it in and then it's going to be a problem once they can install the computer. I'll see, maybe I'll use one of these from injector. Well, anyway, um, I'll, I'll, it is as quick. I mean, I'll, I'll check it out. I mean, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll find something. I mean, I don't like this. That could create problems uh, during um, the installation when everything is finished. And then mechanics will be saying the wires are bad and this and that, but it's, they're not bad. Everything is on point here. Okay, so um, this is the computer box plugs. This harness basically splits into two. One portion goes uh, to the left and another portion goes on the right. 
this is your injector harness connection mm, this this is the um, ignition module this is probably switch over valve some power this these are this is ground all right so this is ground this is how it's going to be these two together like that all right so i have wrapped it to the best of my ability here this is a uh, friction tape so that's because all of these were open and this was open so i have wrapped it that all looks good the um the ignition module again the camshaft position sensor switch over what we spoke about so this is the wrapping that i've done now what's this ignition coil these are for coil these is this is some switch over valve this is the intake air temperature sensor these were good now this is the mass air flows these are the ones that i i plastic welded now we got um, camshaft right here temperature school temperature sensor here so this is what i've done this is adjustable so you can move it in and out if you want it's the sleeve is original continue going this actually goes on the driver side again camshaft position sensor this was fine ignition module mass airflow that's my job here camshaft advancer magnet so this connector was broken i changed that same story on this one this was was broken i changed that and that's basically all the rest of the wiring this is this is the one that goes on the left and those go into computer box for other junction connections uh, the switch over valve again uh, ignition coil right here ground forgot forgot this is switch over valve for like EGRs I believe this is the I don't remember this one I don't remember again another ground this is our HVAC temperature sensor ex exterior temperature for HVAC AC compressor now this connector I do not have unfortunately but one tab is still alive so you'll clip it on it will be fine outside air temperature sensor for LH modules further down coolant fan coolant fan resistors these wires sometimes go bad and they look fine all right so this coolant fan resistance secondary coolant fan and again this is for your um for your computer box for the fuse box on the driver's side okay so basically this is all i got this done and i'm thinking right now i'm just gonna have to i want to find that i, I want to find one of these pins somewhere uh, in my parts bins and reattach a good one with both tabs so to eliminate possibility at least to lessen the possibility of this pin not holding in the socket okay so yeah this is a long video but this is what i wanted to show you and um and the the areas like i said i just saw this wire cut there's annotation to it so i, I assume that mechanics know where they have to go those wires and yep off it goes all right so this is all this is victor at restoring mercedes.com thank you for watching